it feels like Lucasfilm is just going, hey, can we just prove everyone right? Can we just prove everyone right? Let's just go full orange man bad. Let's just confirm everything that we have denied. Let's just confirm it. Daisy Ridley, one day after upsetting the SJWs because she dared not own her own privilege, and they went on a cancel Daisy campaign. Now today, today, Daisy, well, it probably happened yesterday, but Daisy has now targeted Trump supporters. Anybody that supports the President of the United States, you are insane, according to Daisy Ridley, because if you don't think how she wants you to think, See, this is SJW logic. Yesterday, she's talking about a topic, and she had wrong think. Suddenly, boom, cancel Daisy. And now, she's falling into that nonsensical ideology of SJWs, and she's doing the same thing. They, they eat each other alive. It is so funny. Here we are, just a few weeks out, and they're doing this. This is so funny. Star Wars actor Daisy Ridley, every sane person has an issue with President Donald Trump. Star Wars Rise of Skywalker actress Daisy Ridley recently stated that every sane person has an issue with President Donald Trump. In an interview with The Guardian, Ridley was asked by No Sheen something if Disney restricts what she can talk about publicly. She responded, no, I don't feel I have to edit what I say. The things that make me angry are the things that makes everyone angry. Hmm, that's an interesting way to look at it, Daisy. She continued, Everyone is annoyed with Boris Johnson. Everyone has an issue with Trump. Every sane person anyway. If that's not the Hollywood bubble speaking, if that's not the Hollywood bubble to a T, like, she, she literally believes every single person agrees with her political ideology. Unbelievable. Ridley then explains why she doesn't talk about Boris Johnson and Donald Trump, yet that's what she did. Uh, it's not that I don't talk about this stuff, but other people are so much more articulate than me and say it better. She also noted earlier in the interview that other people uh, she has worked with have loud voices. Star Wars has given me the opportunity to do smaller things and allowed me to say no, which is glorious. I don't talk a lot about various things because there are people fighting the good fight. I know I have safety in that the people I have worked with have loud voices. In this instance, she appears to be talking about the Me Too movement. Ridley expands. Well, there was another film I really wanted to do, but there was a number of factors that meant I didn't believe it was right. When asked why, Ridley added, Well, it wasn't equal and all that stuff. I said no. Even though that's really scary, but how much of a blessing is it to be able to say no? <sighs> The Hollywood bubble is a real tangible thing. I mean, it absolutely is. This is hilarious. This interview is just proving everything we've said to be accurate. They can't, how can you deny it at this point? They're literally admitting it. Ridley is not the only Star Wars star to take issue with President Trump. Star Wars icon Mark Hamill is an outspoken uh, critic of the president. Yes, we all know this. Uh, back in June, Hamill compared the recent iteration of Chucky to Donald Trump. When asked if the doll resembled Trump, Hamill stated, that's pretty accurate. He added, now he's even creepier than he was before. Hamill also called for the president, or for president Trump's Hollywood star to be removed and replaced by uh, one for Carrie Fisher. Hamill is, has also indicated on Twitter he hates President Trump. Uh, yes, we know that. The Rise of Skywalker director J.J. Abrams signed an open letter back in 2016 before the election denouncing Trump. Uh, it reads in part, never has there been a presidential candidate who stands in such complete opposition of the ideals of the Star Trek universe as Donald Trump. His election would take the country backwards, perhaps disastrously. Um, I, how, how can anybody deny that Disney Star Wars has, has, has nothing to do with Star Wars now. How can you deny that statement? When I tell you Disney Star Wars has nothing to do with Star Wars, how can you deny that? You've just got three of the most prominent people now just shoving politics into it, running their mouths, going after people that have a different opinion than them, all over Orange Man Bad. Daisy Ridley literally admits that there's a Hollywood bubble. Everyone agrees with her. Every sane person agrees with her. This is what you're doing two weeks before your blockbuster movie? This? Really? 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Everything. You are confirming everything that I have said for the past two years. You are confirming how I say Lucasfilm employees, they can talk bad about Trump all day long, yet I have never, ever heard one person say anything positive about him at Lucasfilm. That gives us two answers. One, they're not allowed to say anything if they love the president or support the president. Or two, there's just nobody there that, that does. They've only hired people that are within their echo chamber. Neither one of those answers is a good answer. And this is the problem with Star Wars because it has translated onto the screen. It has translated into all of the Disney canon that we've gotten. It's all about SJW politics. This is incredible. This has got to be one of the most hilarious things I have ever seen. Two weeks before the biggest film of the year. It's unreal. The, the, the conclusion of the Skywalker saga. And here's Daisy Ridley literally saying every single person that supports Trump is insane. Unbelievable. And again, one day off of the fact that you've already upset your target demographic because you had the wrong think. Because you stepped out of the own echo chamber that you're now screaming from within. Unreal. The self-awareness is unbelievable. I can't believe that they are this out of touch with the reality. But this is Star Wars. I don't feel sorry for these actors at all. I don't. Because they are nothing more than political puppets. They don't care about entertainment. They don't care about story. They don't care about character development or mythology or any of that. They all care about the echo chamber. They are all NPCs. They all repeat exactly what they are supposed to repeat. Wow. Like, how can you be this out of touch? I don't know. But I am loving every second of it. And we still got two weeks to go, ladies and gentlemen. Two weeks to go. And we're going to be covering it all here at Geeks and Gamers. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, smash the melee button. And uh, comment below and let me know what you think about this craziness. Don't forget Solo Lost Money. Yes, hashtag Solo Lost Money. And other than that, I'm going to let you go. There's probably another five stories for me to read about the disaster known as the rise of Skywalker marketing right now. Truly, this is truly one of the most unbelievable and hilarious things I have seen. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys very much. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Have a great day, and we will talk to you later. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.